Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your sourdough discard to make sourdough crepes. These crepes are so light and delicious and they are so yummy filled with things like homemade Nutella and topped with some fresh berries and whipped cream. Or you can stuff them with bananas and peanut butter, just really anything that you like. The batter can be made the night before, so if you want to do that, just whip up the batter and keep it in the fridge until you're ready to cook. And then when you're ready, take it out and let it sit for probably about 30 minutes. Make sure that the consistency is right. You may have to add a few tablespoons of water because that flour will absorb the water overnight. So just thin it down to the same consistency it was whenever you mixed it. So, if you're ready to make sourdough crepes, let's get started. Combine three tablespoons of melted butter and two eggs in a mixing bowl and use a whisk to combine these until they are nice and smooth. Then you are gonna to wanna to add half a cup of sourdough starter, three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm using soy milk, but you can use any kind of milk that you prefer. And whisk this again. After each addition, we're gonna whisk the, the mixture so that we can make sure it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna add one half cup of all-purpose flour. You can use any type of flour you prefer. If you are using a whole grain flour, you're going to have to adjust the liquid amount, but we will do this at the end when we are adding the water. So go ahead and whisk this until there are no lumps. Now I'm adding water to thin this out to the right consistency. I've got 30 grams of water, which is two tablespoons. And this is perfect for my starter, which is a 100% hydration starter and all purpose flour. So go ahead and just add water little bits at a time until you get this really runny consistency. Once you have it mixed, let it sit for about 30 minutes or you can store it in the fridge overnight. So to a hot skillet with a little bit of butter or some cooking oil in the bottom, go ahead and pour one quarter cup of the batter onto the skillet while you move it in this circular motion, allowing the batter to very gently run and spread all over the skillet. You want this to be as thin as possible. Once you have it spread on the skillet, go ahead and let this cook over medium heat. It's gonna take about a minute to a minute and a half. So you'll need to keep an eye on it. The sides of the crepes will start to kind of curl away from the skillet when it's about done. And you can use your spatula just to kind of lift it up very gently and see if it's brown enough. But once it is, you're going to use your spatula and just flip it over in the pan it's not gonna take as long to cook on this side as it did the first side. So after about 30 or 45 seconds, I would go ahead and check to make sure that it's not overcooked. And then once it's ready, just stack these together on a plate. There's no need to separate them with any kind of parchment paper or anything as long as you're gonna eat them right away. So then continue with the the next crepe, again, you're gonna use one quarter cup of batter each time. And please note that the first crepe that you try to cook is usually going to turn out horrible. I don't know why, but that first crepe, I think it's maybe allowing your skillet to get hot enough, or I, I don't know what it is, but the first one is not gonna turn out that great. And if you do get your first one to turn out great, please let me know in the comment section below or give any tips that you might have for that issue. Now, if you have leftover crepes or you just wanna make some in advance, you can 
uh, cook the crepes and then stack them between layers of parchment paper or wax paper and keep them in the fridge for several days. You can also freeze them this way too. Just make sure they have those layers of the wax or parchment paper in between and place it into a, a freezer bag and they'll stay good in the freezer for up to two months. When you're ready to enjoy them, just let them thaw out in their fridge and go ahead and fill them with whatever fillings that you'd like. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more simple recipes. So until next time, bye.